the office now. <laughs> yes. This, this is your domain. Yes. This is the theatre, this is the set yes. <laughs> of the whole thing. And you've got the notice board there with some great things like Christmas cards, Easter cards, Ramadan, all sorts of things. Very all sorts of things that would interest people. Mm. But uh, you wanted to tell us something about uh, what you're planning well, One now. of the success parts of the story has been that we have recently, in the last year, purchased a piece of land that's not very far from Morrison's, so right bang in the town centre. It's um, an old trading estate, yeah. and it is our plan to put a purpose-built garage uh, for the um, repair and upgrading of our vehicles. So that should make us an even stronger company than what we have been in the past. Oh, that's wonderful, and I'm sure you'll achieve it. And we're back and this is our final session with Vera, Vera Karoti, uh, from uh, Premium Cars in High Wycombe and we've been having this fascinating conversation with you, uh, talking about how you started Premium Cars and where it's gone and, and your aspirations. But I've got to ask you this question, who would you say is the most fascinating person you've ever had in one of your cars? Um, well, I don't know that we've, got, we've had anybody really fascinating, but we've had some famous people. Um, there was a famous songwriter from here in the, uh, it was, was Howard um, Jones. Oh, the, yeah. The, the songwriter who didn't live very far from mm -hmm. here. I know that as a taxi fare myself, once I took him to London. Um, <laughs> oh, very normal person he was. There was mm -hmm. absolutely nothing that was outrageous about him at all. Very normal in every sense of the word that I could see, very polite, very, very gentlemanly young man. Um, Raoul Dahl was a, certainly a customer here when he oh, was alive. Raoul Dahl. Yes. We, yeah. You met him? I, I did not meet him, but I understand he had the same interests as what you, 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 you have. Uh, what is a, um, an, an, an English lady doing with all these Asian men? <laughs> <laughs> I, we, we always joked here that one day I was going to turn up in uh, as um, one of these tales. Was it Tales of the Unexpected he wrote? Oh my God, and I yeah. said to him, we, we always laughed here that perhaps one day I was going to turn up with sort of the Tales of the Unexpected. But so, <laughs> sadly he died before he oh, could write it. He's going to write one around you. <laughs> I remember that. It was da 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 You know, the, the woman. That is absolutely just... The tales of the Unexpected. That, that was absolutely just a joke. But... Uh, <laughs> We, we always did laugh here. Um, Goodness me. And um, I mean, there have been various people, various uh, footballers. Uh, it's an area where the footballers are. But I don't think I've ever really met anybody that um, myself that I would call fascinating. No. Right. What about your worst customer? Oh. Apart from the guy that, you know, the Scottish... Oh, uh, um, the worst customers um, are... You know the the ones that you you dread are people that don't know where they are, expect you to be able to find them, or the ones that want to go to a town probably thirty, forty, fifty miles from here, and think that the taxi driver is going to be familiar with every aspect of that mm. particular town, mm. um, and um, and on the other hand you get people saying pick me up from oh x y or z. And you start to try and find out where they are, and they say, "Well, you should know. You know, you're you're you, you're in the taxi world, mm. but you 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 really can't always identify sure. where they are." So they're the worst kind of customers. Mm. So if you just before we go, you know, I want to end on a happy note, obviously. But um, when you struggle, and obviously you have struggled over the years. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, you know. So have, have you done anything else to help yourself with that? Have you? Did you need oh, to? Oh, I, I, when when times got tough, I drove the taxi. Yeah, as you said, you you. When times you when, when when mm. times were tough, and um, mm. I drove the taxi. There's no doubt about that. Mm. And that lasted for a good five years. As you were saying. But it, but it, but, it, but I kept it all going, and after 1989, which is now 20 odd years ago, isn't it? Nearly mm. 25. Well, it is 25 years ago, and then things have taken a, a much stronger turn. Mm. Mm. And you seem like a very easygoing person. That is my nature. I can nature. cope with every, cope yeah. with lots of different that is, things. That so, is my nature. Mm. Mm. So, what's your 
happiest memory of running this business from the time you actually founded the, the company? Or the... I, my daughter went through an illness um, a year or so ago, a very difficult illness, a very difficult illness to explain, a very difficult illness to understand. And the um, support that I had from here, from all sorts of people, was quite exceptional. Quite exceptional. There were times when I couldn't face going to the hospital to see her, and somebody would find a reason to go and visit her. Um, you know, completely um, unsolicited, I think that's probably the word, completely unsolicited, and they would go, and tremendous amount of help that I had. That's beautiful. Um, and so uh, that, that, that is the, the... So I go back to my word camaraderie, but it has taken many fingers, if you like, many, many, many lines of contact, but that was certainly one of them. So that's the heart... Yeah, the heart in in the yeah. business. Yeah. So therefore, you know, when people support you in this kind of very unexplained illness, um, then then you've um, then then you've hit the jackpot, haven't you? Yeah, definitely. And just one more question before we finish: If you ever decide to retire, <laughs> or um, are you training anybody up to, to yes. take this yes, on? Yes, I am. Yes, so I that, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Right. I've taken on a junior partner. Right. Um, I've given him um, some of my shares, and he will continue on with the business when you know when when when, when my days are done. Right. I can see you at the edge of the farm wherever you are, whether you're in the Bahamas. <laughs> do, you, do you plan to travel? Um, not. I don't think the Bahamas would interest <laughs> me very much, but um, there are places that I would like to go and see. I'm particularly fond of the Scandinavian climes, um, okay. north of the, 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 and there are places in England too that I would like to go and see. And uh, so that this would be more my cup of tea. Beautiful. But I could just see you wherever you are. You'll be on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Checking out. Can't, can't deny it. Can't deny no. it. Well, it's been amazing interviewing you today. Um, just one more thing, if there was anyone out there that had a dream and wanted to do something, what, could, what would you say to them now? Stick to it. Tell the camera. Stick, <laughs> stick to it. Stick to it and you'll get there in stick the end. Stick to it. Find a way. And, stick to it. And if you really have the same passion, as you say, you've got the passion and you've got the heart. And I think that's what works for you. It has worked for me. Yes. Yeah. And that's why it's working. Is there anything else at all you'd like to tell no, us? No, I think you've covered everything, Lauren. Well, thank Absolutely. you very much, Vera. It's been amazing. Thank you so much. There we are. Beautiful. Well, there you go. That was an interview with um, Vera Karotti and Premium Cabs. And as Vera said, if you've got a dream, like they say in the song, you've got to have a dream. If you don't have a dream, you can't make a dream come true. That's from Happy Talk. I <laughs> just thought I'd quote that. So, you know where to go to get a cab. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have a good day. Thanks, Thank Laura. you. Bye-bye.